I've had this Triton powered respirator for oh I don't know 15 years I guess and and it and it's, it works great uh, when the batteries are charged but it's not without some issues mainly again it's 15 years old and replacement they're no longer in business or at least this is no longer manufactured this unit and and it, it's expensive it was very expensive and uh, like I said it still works I mean it still has full functionality if I had an air supply I could depend on it. problem is I can no longer get the batteries to take a charge and so I've been toying with the idea for some time uh, about a year and a half of different fans uh, like computer fans things of that nature I could build with a filter box to give me some some airflow so I can something I can hang up over here somewhere and 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 it'll give me enough hose to get to both the lathes so I'm not necessarily confined to one area and something that can be portable as well if I need it to be like I said I've been toying with all kinds of ideas to, to get this thing so that I could use it again and and I, I just really hadn't come up with anything until a few weeks ago I saw a video by a friend of mine Dean Grimes and I'll put a link to his video right up here he bought uh, about a 90 to 100 dollar HEPA room air filter bigger than this one and and used it and a bucket over it because the air always comes out of the top of these the filters down here in the bottom so he took one bigger than this one and put a bucket on it like an ice cream bucket and cut a hole in it for uh, a, a hose adapter and connected his hose to one of 3M's $200 headsets that can take air and I thought you know that's not a bad idea so I was looking for something because I'm a cheapskate I was looking for something a little less expensive than that I found this smaller HEPA air filter for uh, I think between 35 and 40 dollars and I thought well maybe that'll work problem is because it's so small I had a hard time finding the stuff I'm going to use to put on here but I did find something so that's what today's build is going to be I'm going to put this all together and see if I can get it to work I've already got a, a row of weather stripping around the top I did find a small bucket that I can put over here and I don't want to glue it down but I'm going to put the bucket on and and then then it gets weird <laughs> but I'll show you so let's go see what we can come up with Okay, I was in the middle of recording. OBS stopped on me for some reason, and I don't know if the video saved or not. I have this bucket. It's going to sit down over here. I trimmed the bottom of it off so that I can access the power button. And I'm going to hot glue this onto this bucket. Because as I said, this fits perfectly inside the vacuum cleaner hose that I'm going to use that screws onto this perfectly and the other end screws onto the helmet itself so that will give me my air because I will have this situation set up the only difference is there will be a seven foot section of vacuum cleaner hose in here and I'm going to hot glue this down I am not going to hot glue this down uh, I'm going to just push it down over the uh, over the weather stripping that I've got on it. Uh, that's going to seal it well enough, and I don't have to hot glue it. I, I, the only modification I've made to this unit itself is putting this little bead of weather stripping around here. I cut the bottom out and I took it over to my oscillating spindle sander and pretty much melted it all away but uh, that's where I'm at so far 
and in a minute I'm going to come back and I'll hot glue this on here. The hoses themselves are going to interfere with the the airflow enough. I, I, I don't want to in, increase the, I don't want to add any more resistance or turbulence in here than I have to and this little ridge in here will do just that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run a small bead of hot glue in here to slope this down some so that it's not running into that lip. It, it'll have something to, to funnel off of. At least that's the goal. Okay, just a little something to help it break up that hard abrupt edge. So I've got the a bead of super glue in there, super glue, hot glue, and, and it'll help divert it in some. It's not going to be perfect, but there's no way I'm going to get true lemon or airflow out of this. I just don't want it any more disrupted than it has to be. So the tricky part now. The tricky part is going to be laying a bead of glue on this down fast enough to keep it from drying any. So I'm going to hold this for a little bit until this sets up and then I will take this off and run another bead. Yeah, it's pretty funky looking, ain't it? But you know, I don't care if it's funky looking. All I care about is that it does what it's supposed to do and that's provide air to my Triton, my Triton helmet. And the only reason I'm adding this additional bead of glue is to ensure that it doesn't leak. Now I'm going to let this set up nicely and we'll come back and give it a test. Okay, it's set up enough for testing at least at this point. So let me show you. This is on low and you can... It, it's it's just barely moving this paper and it's the it's staticky and wants to clean. that's medium and you can see it that's high and you've got a little bit more so let's put this on go to low
and you can see if it'll quit being staticky you can see the air movement go to medium significantly more so it's it's funneling it better uh, it's a lot more f airflow all I need is positive pressure inside the helmet I think medium is going to be plenty high and here's high it's a little louder but and, and that's way more airflow than I'm going to need that's right out of the mouth of this what about through the hose I'm just just getting positive pressure low I don't think is going to be enough medium should give me all the pressure I need because that feels to be about the same pressure as I was getting from the original battery pack but if I need high I can do that using this whenever I do use it which will be more often than I have been using it will necessitate the need for for me to wear my uh, wireless mic inside the headset I mean inside the, the helmet because otherwise it'll be hard to to hear me when I do my rambling <laughs> or if I'm trying to tell you something whatever so I'm going to let this finish curing some more and I will hook everything up and we'll give it we'll give it the acid test. I was hoping that my audio issues that I've been having with the computer were a basic result of my video card going out. It turns out it wasn't. It's still I, I never know when it's going to happen. I'll check every other recording and it's fine. And then so I get lazy and don't check one and it's not fine. Anyway, I'm, I put the headset on or the helmet and the air dumps right over my, basically right over my face, uh, the contraption on the inside funnels it there and it works great I've got the seven foot vacuum cleaner hose connected to it and it's it, it's really going to work fine we're going to again I'll have to use my wireless microphone but that's okay too and it was one of the reasons I've got it so I get head shield protection I get ear protection and more importantly, I get lung protection using this setup, not just my dust mask and my bionic face shield, which there's nothing wrong with. One of the only problems with this system is now if something happens to the face shield, then I'm going to have a problem with maybe finding a replacement for it. I just, I don't know. I may be able to make something work. Uh, the jury's still out on that. Anyway, it's going to work great. I'm really, really happy with it. I may have to run it on high, but I think I can get by with it on medium. And it, the seven-foot section of vacuum hose or vacuum cleaner hose will work just fine. It was a used hose, and I cleaned it out with... Uh, well, I washed it out good, and then I, I cleaned it, I soaked it in uh, bleach water, and then let it hang up to dry so that I don't get the chlorine fumes in my lungs. But it's uh, it, 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 no foul odor coming through it, so everything's fine there. And it's going to give me the protection that I need for my lungs, and I'm happy about that. The only thing I need to do now is build a cradle system for it 
that will hold it that I can mount to the wall using a French cleat. And I need to use a, a cradle for it because with the hose connected to it, it's a little bit top heavy and I don't want it falling over. So I can't just set it up on a shelf, but a cradle will hold it nicely. So thank you very much, Dean, for the idea. I appreciate it. Uh, Y'all check his video out again. The link is at the beginning. And I'm just happy as I can be with this setup. Yeah, it was. it's quite a contraption, but, you know, that's okay. As long as it works.